Hey guys, how are you doing? Today I want to talk about knowledge because we are always quite fast with knowledge I would say. We are quite fast in being sure of things we know and being sure of things we don't know yet but think we know. There's this theory that there are three kinds of ways to attain knowledge about the world. Well, the first would be to experience it yourself. Of course, I try something out, I go to the forest, walk a new path, then I know where this path is. Number one, experience. Number two, the experience of others. Of course, somebody else goes the way and then tells me where is the way or he writes it down or she writes a book about it or he goes to the television makes a video goes to the internet and distributes this this information so knowledge through the experience of others and the third the third way to get the things get things to know is for me as a philosopher very interesting through thinking through inner perspective through yeah just through thinking processes and humans can do this when you think of mathematics or physics people have thought about certain concepts and then they went to reality and then they saw ah oh, it's really the fact a fact of a matter that this is as we thought it would be. So people can also get knowledge about the world only by thinking, which is quite interesting, I think. I mean, there are obviously other theories too about the way we gain knowledge, um, but I find this one quite interesting where you have those three ways. Other possibilities would be, of course, to get knowledge through maybe some inner voice or some god which tells you. There are also theories about that, I know. And we're always quite fast in judging, in thinking that we know everything or we know something and when somebody else comes and says hey that's not right the first emotion is anger or uh, rejection or we say no you are not right we always or sometimes or often think it's an offense towards us if somebody says we are not right so we connect ourselves to the things we think to know which is actually quite interesting. Why do we do this? So think for one second about one thing you think to know about the world. For example, that the world is a globe, it's round and we're floating through the universe. Where do you, did you get to know this? Where did you hear about it? Well, you probably heard about it in school. You've read about it in books. So somebody else told you. But how do you know that he knows or she knows it? He or she knows it also from books maybe. Do you know it from experience? And it's with many things that we only read them and think that's the truth. If it's written somewhere, we think it's the truth. But often it's not the case because you can write a lot. Paper is very easy to write on. So it's always the thing with sources. What are your sources and who can you trust? Because only if it's written in a book and of course also in scientific books, it doesn't mean it's true. I had a lot of those problems writing my two theses for university. When I look back, I think, okay, many sources of your, I've used, mm, I could have taking a better look there because some things are obviously wrong so we really have to be careful with what we know
Another example, uh, with Seabed Research, the page I opened with my dad, where we are promoting the information Walter found in his research. Uh, there we posted just recently a video which was a great 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 success about a, a knot, the water knot. Check it out, you can check it out if you like seabed research or if you look on my YouTube channel I have also made an own playlist with the videos we're producing there. But this video is about a knot which is dangerous, which is proven that it's dangerous because it can open itself and there have been at least 20 deaths because of this knot. So, and there are easy alternatives, you can use another knot. But there are voices down in this video, reactions, people who say, that's not true. You are wrong. I can use this knot, it's safe. So we are often very quickly in judging and even though there are reported cases, reported deaths. Those people still think the knot is safe. So sometimes it's also very difficult to change our view to the world and our knowledge. And I think this is a big problem. It's a big problem in sciences. It's a big problem in politics. It's a big problem in navigating our societies into truthful and right directions and into directions which are good for everybody. Which should be an aim, I think. So the next time something like this happens to you, you hear somebody say something or read something and you think oh that's really really wrong and he's so stupid in saying or writing this maybe you feel this reaction and you think about yourself hmm, maybe the other one is right what if i'm wrong maybe it's just a different perspective maybe he has a reason for saying something like this could it be that i'm actually wrong instead of impulsively reacting to it. I think this is one way of gaining knowledge and one way of becoming actually wise people. It's at least something I'm trying to do in my life and I can highly recommend to do it too.